Oh, okay, there we go. Hi, Collective. Um, <clears throat> welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, I appreciate it to the moon and back. Let's get ready. And let's see what the divine, what the, what the cosmos, what the mother, father have to say uh, to you at this time. It's just going around between you and the divine. How can we help you? So we have the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, both upright. So there is something that you're looking at on the physical. Um, and you're judging it by thought. This is phase one of the test. I can tell you that right now. So <clears throat> when you're seeing this, is either happening or about to happen uh, but this is an event that's happened a few times that you might not have got the gist of or the full understanding of I'm about to break it down for you um, so in this energy of thinking that you can't do it or this energy of being wounded you know thinking that things are gonna go wrong Thinking that another way is of doing something is a better way, um, or selecting a different route per se, is something that you may do a lot, or just like judging a situation too much, like, oh, that car is yellow, I hate yellow, so that means I hate that car, but it's a car you like, but it's yellow, so you hate the car now, you know what I mean? Like, don't let your thoughts muddy up this water with the star, there is a need to cycle through old energies, allow new ones to come through. Um, but it's very heavy on not hearing what the divine is trying to say about your work and not working out of fear. That means do not do something because you are scared to do it. Do not let your thoughts betray you. When you do these actions, these actions should be pure. As pure as I can get it. You know, on this realm. Um, I'm gonna get one more card, and then we're gonna get okay. I say we're gonna get one more card, and then the divine says, "Oh, really? I got you, Knight of Swords." Interesting, interesting, interesting. Knight of Swords. Thoughts that you have, you tend to take really quick action with, and this is trying to show you, hey, you're about to enter a phase where quick decision is needing to be made not a quick decision but a decision need, is needing to be made and you need to make that decision now you need to take that decision that you've made and put action behind it and transform it when there's this energy of I can't or I'm too lazy or I have too much stuff going on or it's one of them you know one of these excuses and it's not saying that it's not a valid excuse, it's just what it is, you know. So what's the energy? What's what's the main advice, spirit? What's the main advice? What's the main advice? What's the main advice? Okay, main advice. Wheel of Fortune, Hangman, Death, the Devil, the Moon, Justice, the Lovers. In order to get your manifestations to come to fruition the way you want to the way that you're wanting to live this life or do this objective there's a need to take some introspection observe observe everything okay take everything take deeper signs take in deeper signs change how you look at things okay change what you're attached to doing change what you do on this 3d realm because what's hidden you already know what's hidden you know what the issue is but there's a need to actualize what you're saying to see the proof but this is a cycle that you've bound yourself to due to past actions and it's like it's like oh I'll do this and then I'll worry about that later but again with the high priest it's, it's something that you have a, a higher understanding of you know something you know that you should be 
spending more time working on like your your projects that you've been holding back rather than spending time watching TV. You know what I mean? Like it's it's good to take breaks. It's good to relax, but don't over relax. Don't get into that procrastination energy. Don't get into the energy to where you're not working. You know, stay in the energy of of of, of working and relaxing and working and relaxing. Um, give me a second. All right. Um, so, what can we do? And I had a different way of doing this tarot. It's a different way of doing it. So how we? How are we gonna do this, spirit? How are we gonna do this? How? What is the collective? What energies? Beaver. We want you to get back to work. But remember, family. Beavers don't just build the dam. They build the dams for their family. It's about connecting to yourself, your loved ones, your communities, you know, whoever, whatever. Showing them as much love, as love as you're showing yourself. And, and, and working and being cooperative. Um... The zebra and the raccoon. Not being afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be scared to... Be unique. There's this energy of wanting to hide yourself. And then as I say that with oyster on the bottom. You have a tendency to hide yourself whenever... Met with a problem that you know the solution to but just don't want to do it it's like you would rather the divine do it for you but you need to step into your masculine energy with elk and do these things <clears throat> so that you can move on away from these cycles these cycles aren't following you you're just walking around this cycle trying to find another exit trying to find another exit point from the path that you've already chosen and even if you don't even and you might not have chosen a point just yet but even if you are there's a need to listen and be honest with yourself because fire ant popped up you might not be honest with your emotions you might be very exhausted or tired or just not wanting to do something but you figure doing it quick would be good um, but there is some sort of like quick decisive action that needs to be taken or something that um, with rabbit and fox and then owl driving and, and then hummingbird it's definitely about you use your energy up a lot really quick and then you go into this hiding mode but in this hiding mode you're also looking back to see what you could have done differently <clears throat> excuse me and the divine wants you to step away from that and to really you know this this healing process that you've been going through it's been going good but there's a need to again like there's a need to wait to clean up there's no more like the 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 major the big cleanup that you're wanting to do you can't do by yourself with horse and cobra because it's a kundalini awakening it's the divine sending you horsepower energy and external energy force you can't do it by yourself Mm -hmm. This is from inside your internal beauty. That's it, going to shine, but you're going to have to go through the darkness. You're going to have to look at your dark attributes. You're going to have to see these things for what they are and not be like, oh, well, it's okay. Like, no, Vulture, do that dirty work. And look what's like. And you know what that card right there is? Fire Ant. It's not even looking at you. That's how far away you are from how true you are to your, how true, how true you are you being to yourself. Maybe you're not as, as miserable as you seem, but you need something to fill in the energy because you're not putting your energy towards anything else and you're filling it towards that. There's something in your energy that you're following a cycle with because there's not something filling it in. And it's this feminine energy. It's, an, it's, a, it's a feeling, I'm telling you. 
something might be going on too slow and you might be getting clingy because you've been uh, by yourself for too long and it's like you're looking for a quicker solution a, a more you know up in your face exciting uh, solution with the divine trying to tell you that like the solution that you're asking for is already here there's just a need to really allow that to be the solution and and not really press for much more or or ask for much more or deem that much more else is needed uh, because what you're wanting is in the energy and you just have to resonate with it you just have to connect yourself to it you just gotta um, match its frequency you know and 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 we would like to think that we're matching the frequency of what we want but our, if we were, we would have it. See what I mean? You can think it all you want, but until you actually do it, then it's going to be something different. So what's the advice for a spirit? I can't make it up, magician. I'm telling you right now, dude, you have the power within you. You have all the tools, but the only thing that you're not doing is matching your energy to it. Match the energy to what you want. A energy... Attention, uh, energy flows where attention goes, okay? Stop focusing on that bad shit. It's cursing you at this point, okay? And it's not to, like, stifle you or anything, but I'm just telling you the truth of what's going on is it is kind of holding you back from, from taking this quick jump of leap. Like, there's a lot of... Like, you know how to manifest fast, like... Like really good manifestation but you don't believe it with the ace of sword but you just don't believe it and it's like you've seen how fast it's like here's the thing you've seen how fast your manifestations come in when you do them nonchalantly they come in quicker than that but you don't allow them to seven of cups you need to wait because you always jump to conclusions oh once I get this I'm going to do this this and that with it wait stop don't do anything with it that is unaligned with the, the purpose that it's being given to you for. You might be spending the energy that you're getting the wrong way, which is leading to some sort of backlash, but as well as that is some sort of thought process that, that is being funneled by fueled by this energy that, that's causing you to be in this energy of 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 sloth, it feels. And it's not to you know just sloth as in what sloth is. Nothing more, nothing less. If you want to add more to it, you can. And if you want to imply that I'm saying that you are something, that is not so. You are implying yourself. Um, I'm not trying to stand, make it seem like that. But if you're, if you want to take it that way, that's like, that's how you're gonna take it, you know. But again, it's this way of like going your own path to your own victory that you're needing to do. Your path is not like other people's. Everyone's path is different. I don't know. Everyone wants to copy the one thing. Like everyone thinks there's one path. There's multiple paths. We've been so fucked up by religion that we believe everything's one. We want to become one with ourselves. We want one thing. We want one this. One. Th Stop with the ones there's more than one way to do it this is the universe that doesn't mean it's the only fucking one it's one of them it's one of the universes that's why it's so why you know what i mean <laughs> it's the cosmos child we need these better words we already have these words though we just don't use them you know anyway to move on Getting back into the reading. The little mini rant there. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. There's something that you're needing to... Um, yeah, you're needing to go your own path to receive this, these blessings, but you're not allowing yourself to see the, the silver lining of truth. And it, it, it boils down to... Not a fear, not a scare, but a, a pattern with the world. It is a thinking pattern that you have inhabited. That you 
are in the process of breaking, discovering, discovering, breaking, or um, fully moving away from, you know. But this pattern needs to not exist, and it doesn't have to. With the Six of Pentacles and the Lovers, Six Six, these are both spiritual cards. Six Six with Three, that's me. That's you. This is you having a spiritual experience. Where you're being given the energy, and I love it on this card that everyone's getting an equal exchange. At your giving, your higher self is giving you what you need to know. The divine is giving uh, your intu intuition what it's giving, and the world is giving what it needs to give to the thought consciousness, and they're all trying to work together, but there's no order of operations. There's no who's first. It's just kind of all there at once, which is fine, but you yourself need to know how it operates, you know? How do you operate so that you can move forward? Um, I do see that there's not a bad decision going to be made in the future. I feel like there's some sort of decision that you're going to make that you're going to feel like is the wrong decision because it's just an opposite answer which you normally would do. But it's the good answer. With the Four of Cups, there's just a need not to be stuck in your head. There's like a decision that you're going to make. You're not stuck in your head. You're moving forward. With this passion, with this energy, what is this energy going? What is it doing? How is it, how is it looking? With strength, moving forward with uh, your emo with your feelings calming your thoughts. It's really going to be a head over shoulders thing. It's like, hey, even though we put effort into these things and some of it didn't work out and now we don't know what to do, at least we know for a fact what we can do. So let's move forward with what, with what we can do and then let, let's let the rest do what the rest needs to do. We have the plans we need. There's not a need to hold off from it. With the six of wands reverse and the three of cups reverse, I see like there, you're just been in this weird energy of not doing anything. You haven't really believed in yourself to do it. Um, and you also haven't been really choosing another path, like a, a one that wasn't originally given. It's like you've been given an option to do this or that, and you've chosen an option that's kind of left you with this energy to enjoy the physical enjoy what you have and not nurture much else not nurture anything you might have even been in this anti-nurturing mode where you've just kind of been doing whatever the divine wants you to snap out of that mode um you know and and, and come in more of a time to get the work energy yeah with the seven even because you've been it's like you've been waiting for a for a response from the divine sign and the sign's been shown and it's like okay let's get back to work then let's do these things that we've We've shown you what to do. Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles, let's get back to work. Their divine's working with you. They want you to receive these things, to receive these messages. They want the Six of Cups. The only way you're going to receive those messages is if you go to your heart space. This does not mean heart chakra meditation. This does not mean that. This is a higher heart. This is your sacred heart that you need to focus on. The Five of Swords reverse, the Chariot reverse, and the Eight of Wands reverse. That's why you're unable to move forward is because your sacred heart isn't being focused it's not your heart your normal heart your your heart where you know your chakra is where your heart chakra is, this is your higher heart this is there you know it's where your higher heart is we have the two of pinnacles reverse the knight of pinnacles reverse the eight of swords reverse and the king of swords reverse with the emperor upright there's a lot of mental gymnastics going on it's like you don't want to do something because you know it's not going to work and you're not stuck but then you're also not making a correct decision so you're just kind of holding your power like this and you people are like what are you doing it's like i'm i'm holding my power like for what I don't know. With, with Hermit, for what? What are you holding the power for? You tell me. It's right here. Spirit's even saying it. I didn't even realize that. Spirit. And with discretion, with discernment, with judgment, you're you're being called. Like, hey, hey, wake up. Come on. Make a decision. Let, let, let's, let's look at this. What's going on? You know what I mean? Like, not in a mean way either, but like a, hey, what's up? Like, let's wake you up to this elephant in the room. We bust it open. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. With the four pinnacles reversed, it requires you to let go, though. To let go of not nurturing the 
physical realm. You need to stop not nurturing it. You need to start nurturing it. There's something about when you start to nurture it that the divine is going to give you signs along the way to show you what you're doing is correct or if what you're doing is incorrect or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, we have the Page of Wands reverse and the Five of Pentacles reverse. I just heard I don't, I'm tired of guessing games. I mean, that's kind of like reality though. Because you, what you do is you get the answers from the divine, but then your thoughts. It's you that plays the guessing game. The divine's giving you the answers to direct answers that you need, but your your brain's playing the game. That's that's what's going on. The divine doesn't play games with you. There's just like an inner child energy where you're not using it correctly, but you notice it's there. It's like you feel this energy's there, but you're not sure how to use it. So it's just kind of going to waste. But you're, it's because you're not letting your thoughts touch it. Because you're afraid of your thoughts ruining this. But this is something that you need to think about. And don't think... And even if you start thinking about it in a negative sense and it starts, you know, spooking you a little bit, then don't think about it. Like, shut shut that system down. Go do something else. Fill, fill up that that space of, of, of thinking about that thing with something else and, and say thank you for showing yourself thought um, I'm, I'm going to you know remove you from my energy field I'm no longer uh, I feel like we have we have talked enough I've gotten what I need from you you know just you know doing that but the delirians want to talk so let's see what delirians want to say let's see what delirians want to say we have well, actually, let me shuffle three, four more times. They want five more times, actually, my bad. Yeah, that's probably why. This is the bottom. Alright, so we have fusion, balanced schedule, heart living, tantric union, central heart. Partnership, soulmate, clarity, heart guided. This has a lot to do with the heart. <laughs> has a lot. You might need to do some heart work. Work on your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to some reggae music, soul music, soul food. Do stuff that enlightens the soul and the heart. We have synchronicity, miracles, let loose, and recognition. The new beginning, teamwork, sharing, give back, and yoga resources observation abundance prosperity and gifts Cell cellular upgrade listen step back and learn from your surroundings the greater plan the good oh my gosh <laughs> the greater plan acceptance letting go divine perfection flow uh surf the polarities of consciousness and last but not like least third eye three 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 truth revealed heart, work wise not hard in magician some of you might be work might have been working very hard in the past and you got a very abundant result you can't talk about this one too much because it's an answer but um as you've loosened up from uh you know as you've loosened up from uh working so hard you've noticed how enjoyable it is and how much time you have to do other things and it's time to combine those two together you know what i mean i'm not i can't spoil what the lesson is they're not letting me so i'm gonna stop talking about it because this is between you and the divine not me Shuffle two more times, because y'all are speaking, speaking today. I love it, though. We're going to take the split. Fuck it. And the bottom. Yeah, we'll take the bottom. We always take the bottom. All right. So, oh, my Lord. We have Earth Angel. Thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. Unconditional love, the Divine Mother, 
Thank, oh wait, hold on, yeah. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I desire. Inner power to Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. Peace and harmony, Archangel Raguel. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. I just heard you go take that walk. Our spirit animal. Thank you, animal kingdom, for blessing my path with love. I've seen a wolf, an arctic wolf, and also a, a gray wolf. We have you are protected, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. The miracle of forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me to understand the process of forgiveness. The divine physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Spiritual gifts, Archangel Raziel. Thank you, Raziel, for helping me channel my gifts and talents. Love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Healthy choices. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. And last but not least, transformation, Archangel Zadkayil. Thank you, Zadkayil, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. And that is your message from the divine. Thank you so much for being here. Um, again, if you're wanting a good bracelet, a very, very good bracelet, you can go to Spirit, uh, Otter Spirit. The link in the description. Use the code for 20% off. Um, if you're wanting a reading or any of my other services, you can also look in the description for that as well. Um, uh, you can email me or use the Google form and fill out the form. Uh, if, you want, if you want to be part of the Google group chat that we have, that we just go and talk uh, to each other and express and learn, you can email me about that as well and I'll get you set up for that. Regardless, thank you all so much for all the likes, comments, shares, subscribes, donations, energetic or financial, it doesn't matter, I appreciate them all equally. Um, I love you all so much to the moon and back tenfold and forever and I will see you later.